Find the fourth derivative of the given expression in the third derivative. The differentiation requires to use quotient rule and product rule. To remember the quotient rule, use law d high minus high d law. Law refers to denominator. High refers to numerator. D means derivative. Let's start. Law copied the denominator. Here it is. D high differentiate the numerator. The derivative of x, y, third derivative is x, y, fourth derivative plus y, third derivative. The product rule was used. The derivative of 2y second derivative is 2y third derivative. Continue minus high. Copy the numerator here. D low. Differentiate the denominator. This is another round of product rule. In product rule, copy e raised to x, differentiate x plus 2, which is 1, no need to write, plus copy x plus 2. This time, differentiate e raised to x, and that is e raised to x. And don't forget to square the denominator. e raised to 2x times the squared of x plus 2. Now, look on the results of differentiation. There are similar terms here, and there is a common factor here. In algebra, similar terms are combined. y third derivative plus 2y third derivative is 3y third derivative. Here, the common factor is e raised to x, and we factor it out. Of course, the quantity inside the bracket is affected by the common factor. It is now 1 plus x plus 2. Notice that e raised to x appears here and here. I would like to see your thought what would happen next. Write your answer in the comment section. In this step, e raised to x disappeared in the numerator because it was a factor in the numerator and there was e raised to 2x in the denominator. By law of exponents on the same base, exponents are subtracted when powers are divided. So, x minus 2x is negative x. 
negative exponent is not allowed. That is why the whole expression is written in the denominator. Meanwhile, we can add 1 and 2. So, we have x plus 3. This time, remove the parentheses by applying the distributive law. Multiply the first terms. x squared y fourth derivative. Multiply the outer terms. 3x y third derivative. Multiply the inside terms. 2x y fourth derivative multiply the last terms 6 y third derivative the succeeding terms are all negative because the presence of minus and the operation inside the parentheses is addition Continue. Multiply the first terms. x squared y third derivative. Multiply the outside terms. 3xy third derivative. Multiply the inside terms. 2xy second derivative. Multiply the last terms. 6y second derivative. Copy the denominator. This is the final answer. There are six terms from eight terms in the numerator because there are similar terms to combine. And the result is zero.